we're going to talk about proper alignment for load cells. Um, it's very important to align your load cell. Um, if you if you don't have proper alignment, you could introduce a side load, which uh, could give you uh, significant errors, worse uncertainties. Uh, so I'm just going to show you some good ways that we uh, we like to follow. The first one's going to be alignment plug. Uh, this is an item we actually offer. We sell this. So if you're interested, call us. So this, it just threads into the bottom of the load cell. As you can see, there's a little button on it. On our base block here, there's a hole that's the same size. So all you're going to do, thread this in the bottom. Now something very important with this, make sure it's at least flush. You don't want it sticking out at all, the flat part here. I always like to um, thread it in a little extra. Just because if you have that sticking out at all and you load it, you're gonna crush it. It's only like two threads on it, so you will damage the threads and it will get stuck and it's very difficult to get out. Uh, you probably will damage the load cell and then you might have to get another base. So definitely very important, make sure it's threaded in the whole way. Then we drop that in there, and then we know our load cell is nice and centered with our whole machine. So, and then another thing we do, um, we, use, we like to use a ball adapter a lot. These are great for alignment also. We have an adapter in our uh, yoke that has a ball seat in it. So what you do, you'll just thread this in. Okay. So if we use these adapters, then we know everything's in good alignment. Um, we can trust our readings. Um, you know, it, it's really important, especially when you're doing um, something like E74, where you're uh, you're doing a cow in rotation. You want you want to definitely. Uh, so now I can guarantee that this load cell is in perfect alignment with the machine. I should get good numbers. You know. If, if I have other issues, I can at least rely on my alignment right now. I can look into other issues and figure out what's wrong with the, the load cell. So.